carry on on that note that we were just talking about off air. How exciting is it to be here at last, eve of the World Cup, ready to go? Yeah, amazing opportunity, you know, to play at, uh, at the World Cup and uh, to have eight teams this year as opposed to four last time I was here in 2013 with the Kiwi fans. And obviously the growth in the game since then has been so exciting, but uh, yeah, feeling very blessed to have the opportunity to be on the world stage up against the best teams in the world. Yeah, you mentioned, you know, you were here nine years ago, we've had a World Cup in the interim. But the, the, the rate of growth and progression for Women's Rugby League in that time, this is going to almost be like a different sport, isn't it, in terms of the standard and where these girls are at? Absolutely. The level of the game has just uh, has continued to increase year after year. And I knew that, um, you know, when Australia won in 2013, that uh, it was going to be good for the game. And uh, yeah, consequently, we've just seen the game grow every year since. And as we can see, the expansion of the NRLW, the, uh, the inclusion, and in it's the fastest growing sport in Australasia, including the Pacific. So it's amazing to uh, now have this opportunity to represent the Pacific and our heritage here, here on the world stage. Yeah, the, the men have had a bit of a head start, a couple of weeks head start. We've seen how proud that Cook Islands team has, has represented that nation. Your, your players must be so excited watching that to go on and do it themselves. Absolutely, absolutely. We don't have the, the resources and the, the population of some of our, our rivals, but we certainly have the, the passion. And, uh, and, uh, and again, to have the opportunity is what we're so thankful for. And we feel very blessed to be on the world stage up against world number one to start the tournament. Yeah, let's talk about that game. You couldn't have had a, a I guess a, a worse, but in some respects a better game to start this tournament with. Yeah, and that's what our, our captain mentioned earlier. You know, you can look at it two ways. You can either be lambs to the slaughter, or you can feel that it's a blessing to have this opportunity to be on the on the you know at the pinnacle of rugby league, on the world stage up against the world's best. So for us, we know that it's uh, for our, our goal is to be competitive in that game, uh, to do the basics the best, to be consistent, to complete our sets, and to give Australia an, uh, a real good uh, competition during the during the match. The last thing we want to do is get flogged, and and, and we certainly won't let that happen and uh, for us you know the objective is to, is, to, is, to, is to come off there knowing that we played our best football and also too we feel that the that the Aussies have the pressure on them to perform the expectation is all on them it's not on us so we're, we're, we're enjoying the underdog status and we'll and we'll certainly uh, rise to the occasion. And World Cups are such a, a unique thing such a kind of a, a month that can only be replicated by another World Cup how much are you trying to instill on the girls and the, your team to enjoy this experience and embrace it? Exactly and we've spoken about this uh, um, since, but we've only just come together around three days ago in Sydney before we left to, to come to, the, to England for the World Cup. But we impressed upon them the, um, the significance of this World Cup, but to enjoy it, not to be overwhelmed or overawed by it, but to enjoy the experience, enjoy, enjoy every moment. And uh, yeah, so from the time we've arrived in, in, here in England, uh, the people have been so welcoming and so um, yeah, supportive of us. And uh, even to the point where they're, they're just backing us 100%. So having that support is just making us uh, feel so happy. And uh, um, yeah, we're really looking forward to the opportunity. Yeah, there's an element, obviously, of World Cups wanting to be successful on the field. But how important is it that you inspire that next generation, especially next generation of female rugby league players back home? Absolutely, absolutely. And we've got a lot of expat uh, Cook Islanders in both Australia and New Zealand. And so they're lucky to have those pathways. But we're trying to create that opportunity in uh, lifting the profile in the Cook Islands itself because the girls are just so excited to see the woman here at the World Cup for the first time. And, um, well, actually, actually the second time. But in, in, this, in this forum, in this format uh, uh, with eight teams, it's just so exciting. And uh, we, we really uh, hope that our, our girls back home are going to get motivated and inspired by what they see here in the, in the, in the next month. Well, best of luck and enjoy it. You're welcome.